We appreciate it, Brandon. Another chapter in the case of a missing Schenectady woman. We now know that the remains found by a jogger in Queemans last week belong to 24-year-old Shelby Countermine. Police made the identification official today. Our Jennifer Lukey is live tonight with the latest on the investigation. Well, and I'm standing along Crane Street in the Mont Pleasant section of Schenectady. This was the last area that uh, Shelby was actually seen alive in, and that was back on December 4th of last year. The jogger who found Shelby Countermine's body was a nurse himself. He led police to the shallow grave where he found her, and using fingerprints and tattoos, they were able to positively identify her. We are taking cautious steps in order to accurately determine how she wound up on this private property and what may have happened to her. There are bike and ATV trails in that area, but police aren't sure yet whether Shelby died here or was brought here. The cause of death has not yet been determined, but the medical examiner did find trauma to the body. And we're running down any and all persons who may have known her, may have information about her, so that we can determine what her movements were and what may or may not have happened in her life uh, leading up to her disappearance. Since her disappearance, Shelby's friends and family members have launched social media campaigns and gone door to door trying to find her. Anytime someone goes missing, the best conclusion is to find them. Um, unfortunately, sometimes they are not found alive. This is one of those cases, but in sense of having closure, at least the family does know where their daughter is and we are going to endeavor to figure out what happened and how she wound up there. Police were back in that wooded area today searching for more evidence, but the chief tells me that most of his leads are here in the city of Schenectady. Now, as I mentioned, an exact cause of death has not yet been determined. Police and the medical examiner are waiting for uh, toxicology reports before ruling this officially a homicide, but this is a developing investigation, and we will stay on it and bring you any updates as we get them. For now, live in Schenectady, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. What a sad story. Jennifer, thanks. The DEC says it's investigating a diesel fuel spill in Albany today that sent two people to the hospital. We're told the pair was sprayed trying to plug up a leak in a hose carrying fuel from Global Oil at the Port of Albany. They are expected to be okay. The fire chief tells us about 400 gallons of fuel spilled into a containment area just before noon today. DEC says the Hudson River wasn't impacted, and they say that there wasn't a lot of soil contamination. We'll keep an eye on that.